2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Dallas Mavericks arriving at the building earlier today. The beautiful, dramatic setting here in Salt Lake City, Utah becomes apparent when you get a look at the aerial shot of the surroundings. We've already got quite a series on our hands, folks, and this is only the first round. Game six in the West. And tonight we'll see the Dallas Mavericks as they go up against the Utah Jams at Vivian Smart Home Arena. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you. There is no question that Dallas's Luka Doncic has captured league-wide admiration. The Hall of Famer player and executive Jerry West said, we are watching genius, a superstar who will go down as the best player in Mavs franchise history. Considering Dirk Nowitzki was there for a long time, Kevin, the praise from Jerry doesn't get much higher or from a loftier perch. Indeed, something special, David. Thanks. Now, a look at Dallas' starting lineup. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. Luka Doncic out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Hardaway in at the three slot. And for Utah, Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Joe Ingles is out there at Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at center. So Dallas will get the first possession. Now here's Doncic over Bogdanovich. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Doncic has got the first points of the night for the man. Right side, Conley. Back to Mitchell. Bogdanovich up top. Leave it defending. Shot clock at five. Conley gets the bucket. Mike Conley looking comfortable in the post. Even with the defense draped all over him, he gets it to go. Morzingis finds Cleveland. Bogdanovich against Doncic. Look at, look at the big fella working on that position. He knows how to thin guys off and get those rebounds. And it's Mitchell missing. And the Mavericks with possession. They want to put some distance between them and the loss on Monday. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. And Kleba slams it in. And how about the vision there from Doncic can make the easy pass and also the difficult. Mitchell kicks to Bogdanovich. Mitchell against Richardson. Here's Gobert. Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Now, here's Doncic. That one drops for him. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's Mitchell. Porzingis with the block. They retain possession. Tries again. Here's Porzingis with a great chance. Kleba, the pass to Porzingis. The shot's good. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
about three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Gobert and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The length of Gobert causes the defense plenty of problems. He's very clever at drawing fouls on his shots. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drops for Gobert. Rudy Gobert can change the game in so many ways. He does it with his length, his height, and his impact. And Gobert drops them both. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Side Hardaway. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Man, you got to respect Luka's passing skills. Uh, just a multi-talented player who is all about sharing the basketball. Now here's Conley. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Hardaway. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now, here's Mitchell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Six on the shot clock. Here's Conley. Good work defensively by Richardson. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. They grab their own miss. Second shot opportunity. Nice shot by Porzingis. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Mitchell. Passes to Ingles. Outside Conley. Will it go? Again, Conley missing. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Utah calls timeout. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Here's Mitchell. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Conley. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Gotta be up on Bogdanovich. When you aren't, he catches and fires away. Here's Doncic. And the shot goes in. Doncic has got nine points. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks and stolen by Richardson and here's the fast break Richardson leading the way yep that one goes they've been excellent so far coming in with a well-balanced attack and it's helped them build an early lead they just need to stay aggressive here's Conley that shot is off and it's Dallas the other way. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Doncic against Ingles. Just five on the clock. And Doncic, here we go. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. 
Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, you keep going to it. Conley dishes to Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Few players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. entirely new group here. Derek Favors checked in for Gobert. Ilyasova comes in for Bogdanovich. O'Neal's check in for Joe Ingles. And it's Clarkson in for Donovan Mitchell. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Przingis. I. Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. Burke, he's checked in for Richardson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Doncic. Now Conley. After Tim Hardaway missed from long range. And it's blocked. But they get it back. Let's the three fly, and it's Conley that time on the assist by O'Neal. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Here's Burke. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Jazz trail by 11. Outside Conley. A floater, and it's good on the way in. Conley's got his third bucket of the night. Conley is so adapted in pick and roll sets. The defense never knowing if he's going to pass or shoot after the screen. And here is Cauley Stein. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And contact down the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They get Derek Favors. Now they're shooting their first free throws of this one. And the first one drops. Them both. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Jazz. 11 point game. Now, here's Clarkson. Burke covering. Pass to Ilyasova. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Dude, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. The Mavericks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. George Niang, he's checked in for Derek Favors. And he's good on the second. Jazz trail by 10. Here's Clarkson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside Conley. Five to shoot. Now the pass to Niang. That three off the mark. 
And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Yep, that one goes in there. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. And the Mavericks call time here. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. Dallas leading by 10. Outside Hardaway. Here's Powell. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Just doing the job on the backboard. Conley with it. He has seven. Ilya Silva. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line, your jazz. Ersa Ilyasova. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Ilyasova. good for Elias Hogan. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Burke the pass to Coley Stein. And Coley Stein throws it down. And they have owned the paint so far and the score reflects it. I'll tell you this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now here's Conley. Seven points in the game. A shot by Clarkson. No good. 125 left in the first quarter. Brunson kicks to Cauley Stein. Now here's Burke. He's covered closely. Draws contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now they're shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Stein has drawn comparisons to Tyson Chandler due to his length and athleticism. It's important he continues to get better. Passes it to Clarkson. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hardaway. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Yeah, and bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Here's Niang. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Come to me, come to me. That one goes. Count it. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Foul the pass to Cauley Stock. Now Brunson. Down to five on the shot clock. Hardaway for three. 
A new 14 for the Mavericks. The shot by Cauley Stein, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Out of bounds, it'll be Mavericks ball. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Seventeen seconds left to play here in the first. O'Neal against Doncic. From deep. That shot, no good. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Dallas. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Mavericks. Powell is out there with Doncic. Then there's Trey Burke. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Cauley Stein in its center, locking down the middle. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And Utah has possession. Down by 15. Here's Mitchell. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Great job getting it to go after he takes the hit. Mitchell plays with a force every night. Here's Doncic. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Clarkson finds Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. They are at their best when Mitchell pushes the action. His aggressiveness raises the level of this team. Here's Burke. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Uh, haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Here's Clarkson. Here's Ilyasova, and they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Here's Brunson, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. For Dallas, they have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And he makes the first. A different look for Utah. Gobert, he's checked in for Ilya Sova. Bogdanovich comes in for Royce O'Neal. And it's Joe Ingles in for Jordan Clarkson. Then for the Mavericks, Zinkis, he's checked in for Cauley Stein. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Trey Burke. And so he makes both from the line. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Has to go bare. Here's Mitchell. Go bare. Great positioning on the putback. Rudy wanted it more than anyone else. He's going to be around for a long time. Look forward to watching him. It's good. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Mitchell dishes to Bogdanovich. And go bare kicks to Bogdanovich. Able to get that one. Nice D from Porzingis. In the corner, it's Richardson. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. I love that catch and shoot. Defensively, you've got to close hard. Josh is dangerous in that area. Ingles passes to Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. 
And they're passing the ball very crisply here. For Dallas, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Derek Favors checked in for Utah. What's so impressive about Doncic, the maturity. Yes, he's polished, but, but he's got a completeness to his game at such a young age. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got eight. Passed to Bogdanovich. What's up a three? It's rebounded by Doncic. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Dallas moving it around. Richardson outside. Give Josh credit, taking the challenge offensively, discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. Utah calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. defense Dallas they have a 22 point lead it's the most they've led by back to Bogdanovich offensive rebound and favors kicks to Bogdanovich Mitchell against Brunson four on the shot clock shoots the three goes up again and favors finishes it off Favors got his first bucket of the night. You love the effort of Favors. On the glass, he's a scrappy player who comes away with second chance opportunities for his club. Now, here's Bogdanovich after Luka Doncic's miss. And there's Favors putting it right back in. Favors has got his second bucket of the night. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Brunson, no good. So Favors will bring it up for the Utah Jams. It's an 18-point game. Ingles passes to Favors. Kicks to Gobert. Outside, Bogdanovich. Porzingis with the block. Here's Richardson. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Richardson's got nine points. You talk about a guy who's added some strength over the years. Look at the hit Josh took, and he was still able to convert. Mitchell right side. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. From the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Persingas has got six rebounds in the game. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Guys, you never know what you'll see when you're watching Luka Doncic. His offensive creativity is through the roof. Now, here's Mitchell. Eight points for him. Favors passes to Bogdanovich. Out to Favors. Mitchell against Brunson. And it's Mitchell missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just no space and he whips on it. Drills the three-pointer. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Now, here's Bogdanovich. And they get it. No good off the back of the rim. 
and there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. But you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And here is Ingles following Porzingis' three. Brunson against Mitchell. Another miss by Utah. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Mavericks with the rebound. Kleba's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. The pass to Gobert. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Love how Gobert stays active inside, picking up fouls in the process. The Jazz shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. A different look for Utah. O'Neal's check in for Bogdanovich. Jordan Clarkson comes in for Joe Ingles. And it's Conley in for Donovan Mitchell. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Pazingas. Ty Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. Hardaway's checked in for Luka Doncic. And Trey Burke subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Second free throw, no good. Out to Hardaway. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Conley feeling it out. Marks it on the wing. Utah gets it back. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. That's just staying in the moment. Keeping with the current possession. Now here's Burke. Cauley Stein passes to Hardaway. Back to Cauley Stein. Richardson against Clarkson. Out to Hardaway. Another three for Dallas. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Clarkson passes to Gobert. Passes it to Conley. Over for Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got nine points. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. Burke, the pass to Hardaway. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Burke's got three assists now in this one. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Here's Clarkson. Kept alive. There's a minute 34 left in the second quarter. Gobert with the block. You really have to be careful with Gobert lurking around. He'll send it back. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Jazz. One oh four left in the first half. Missed inside. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Great D that time from Favors. Jazz shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. The shot by Clarkson, no good. He can't get anything to fall this quarter. And obviously, that's dragging the whole team down. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. And the Jazz making a change here. Niang's checked in. And Dallas also making a switch. Redick is checked in. Now Burke. He kicks it to Redick. Here's the three. And there's Burke. Three. That's good on the assist from Redick. Burke's got six. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. 
Great open look there. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Now here's Conley to halt the run. That one doesn't go. You know, he was looking for revenge, trying to match shots from distance. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a major 39-point lead here at the end of the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Joined here with Quinn Snyder. Coach, your team has faced a lot of firepower from outside. How do you keep them from getting those three-pointers off? Well, one, they're making them. Uh, hopefully we can get them where they're not open and they're contested and see if they're making that many of them then. But uh, they're getting them a variety of ways. We just got to be better. Play outside in defense, right? Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. For the Mavericks, they've come out tonight and put the hammer down. They're obviously anxious to finish this series right here and now and not leave anything to chance with a Game 7. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, their three-point shooting has told the tale here tonight, fellas. They've been lights out from behind the arc. Whether it's coming off a high screen or pulling off the dribble, it seems like whatever they're doing, it's going correct. There's not a lot you can do when a team's got this hot from downtown. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, there's no two ways around it. They got trounced on the glass and on the scoreboard. They got to show a little more fight down low. Looks like they're not competing. and uh, It's showing on the boards most of all. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Mitchell is the two with Ingles at the three. Rudy Gobert is out there with Bogdanovich, and it's Conley in at the point guard position. That's the group right now for Utah. A lot of great young players in this league. Donovan Mitchell has the edge and hunger right now. Anjic passes to Cauley Stein. Dallas moving the ball around, and the dunk by Doncic. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. And here is Conley with some art, and that's two points on the way. Conley's got 11 points. Smooth off the fingertips. Mike Conley floating it in beautifully. Gobert with the block. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. And then Mitchell hit the dunk. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Hardaway, no good. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Jazz to the inside. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by Mitchell. Conley's got four this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Hardaway with a wide open look. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Richardson against Conley. Six to shoot. Now, here's Mitchell. He's guarded closely. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. 
Doncic looking it over. Here's Persingas. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. 12 points for him. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. For Dallas, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Doncic. He's got 22. Makes it off the glass. Doncic has got 24. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see. Incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Here's Conley. They get it back. Go Bear. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Przingis. The Jazz have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Your Jazz, Rudy Gobert. Two shots. First free throw is good. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. Dallas also making some changes. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Carly Stein. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Hardaway. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And the shot goes in. Conley's got 15 points. For Dallas, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight to the paint. Here's Persingas. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Completely on his game. Hasn't missed a shot all night. A big part of why this team is winning. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. to Mitchell and stolen by Richardson out to the right wing here's Brunson Utah with the rebound over to the wing Ingles with the ball back to go bear just five to shoot to attack there and then create the contact. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. Rudy Gobert at the line for two. First one falls for him. O'Neal's check in for Utah. Burke, he's checked in for Dallas. And Gobert drops them both. The Mavericks have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Pass to Kleba. Brzingis with the ball. Pass to Brunson. Shot clock at six. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, beyond the lean, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face physical high energy plays like that one. George Niang he's checked in for the Jazz Jordan Clarkson comes in for Donovan Mitchell and Dallas also making a switch Dwight Powell's checked in for Brzingis O'Neal passes to Conley it's rebounded by Brunson Maverick shooting an incredible 64% from the field in this game 
there's the pass to Doncic. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Powell's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Here's Clarkson. Banked in off the glass. Yeah, that's where you like your shots to come from. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the Mavericks. Passes it to Brunson. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Burke's got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Clarkson against Brunson. A shot by Clarkson, no good. For Dallas, they've gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Really left alone that time. Really? Burke's got nine points. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. Here's Brunson after the basket by Utah. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And they double up Doncic. Now O'Neal. To the middle. Here's Nian. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Now here's Burke. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Powell. An easy two points on the layup. Powell's got four points in the quarter. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Inside, Ilyasova. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Powell, the pass to Brunson. He doesn't hit that one. And it's Utah the other way. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. The Jazz have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. And Utah making a change here. Favors has checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Finney Smith's checked in. The fourth pick in the 2011 draft, it took getting stronger and improving the shot to make Conley one of the better all-around guards in the game. Now here's Powell. He's got six. Here's Burke. Pass to Kleba. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Mavericks have been good at the free throw line in this one. Seven of eight. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. And here's Clarkson. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got rebound number seven for him tonight. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Now here's Powell. He's got six. Burke kicks to Brunson. Dallas, no good that time either. Utah shooting about 42% so far. Clarkson dishes to Conley. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Conley causes so many problems for the defense. He's quick, and he has the ability to score from anywhere. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And 
that one falls for Mike Conley. J.J. Reddix checked in for Jalen Brunson. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. Here's Reddick. To the inside. Stolen by Clarkson. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got 13 points now in the quarter. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Now, here's Burke. He's covered by Clarkson. 137 left to play in the third. Here's Conley. Lays it up and banks it in. Conley's got 24. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Burke. He's got nine. And the rejection by Favors. What perfect timing on that play. Derek Favors, an outstanding shot blocker. Beautiful ball movement. Draw and kick. The defense can't catch up. Here is Ilias Oba. Here's Conley. Count it good. Conley's got 17 points here in the second half. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. Here's Burke. Another shot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Shooting for Dallas. Trey Burke. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Burke. A different look for Dallas. Melly is checked in for Maxi Kleba. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Utah shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Favors has got his third basket of the night. Burke kicks to Powell. Back to Burke. Shot clock at five. Here's Melly. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. He's not looking at the score. He's staying focused and he's staying active. There's two things they rely on him for. Being competitive and bringing energy. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll return shortly. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. 
Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. They've got Marjanovic. J.J. Redick is out there with Burke. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Melly in at the power forward position. Here's Thomas. And the rejection by Marjanovic. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. He yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And that one falls for Burke. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the Jazz. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Trey Burke. Clearly a foul. At the line for your Jazz. Matt Thomas. Two shots. Free throw good, Thomas. Good on both. The Maverick shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. Burke, and he gets it to go. The Jazz shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. Fourth quarter just getting started, one minute in the books. That's tipped. Niang passes to Azabuki, and he takes that one up and powers it through. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Oh, that's how you drive your point home right there. Now, here's Burke. Defense is right there. Second chance shot. Rebounded by the Jazz. And now Utah, fast break. Here's Hughes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Elijah Hughes taking two shots. The first one falls. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Dallas with a change here, too. Josh Richardson's checked in for Trey Burke. And so he makes both from the line. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Pass to Marjanovic. Here's Melly. Richardson outside. Lock at six. Outside Hardaway. From deep three-point range. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Dallas making a switch here. Finney Smith's checked in. Dorian Finney Smith. Here's Niang. As Ibuki trying to break free. Niang, no good down low and he makes it look easy dunking it hard with one hand this is just one of many areas where reddick has improved reading the floor and finding his guys for good quality shots 
teardrop shot and the play by Thomas as he finishes it off for two. That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Richardson outside. Drills it from outside. Nice shot by Josh Richardson. He gives you another guy that can extend the defense. Niang kicks to Thomas. There's the pass to Azabuki. Five to shoot. Outside Thomas. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Richardson against Thomas. Richardson attacking. Here's Marjanovic. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Royce O'Neal's checked in for the Jazz. One shot. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Thomas passes to Niang. Back to Thomas, just four to shoot. Here's Hughes, off target from outside. Dallas has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Kicks it out to Richardson. They get it back. Belly, it's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Sinks the three-pointer. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Doncic is checked in for the Mavericks. Here's Finney Smith. Here's Marjanovic. At the line of Mavericks, Boban Marjanovic. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops from Marjanovic. He's off on the second. Utah's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Azabuki. to the inside, snatched away. Here's Finney Smith. It's blocked, but they'll get another chance. The three for Doncic. Not loose. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Thomas, good. Now that's confidence right here. Passing up an easy two on the break and letting it fly from three-point range. And they double up Doncic. Redick for three. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his eighth assist here tonight. This is the kind of showdown Redick favors. Dueling from distance. Here's Thomas. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And, and guys, I like what they're doing here in the second half. Getting a lot of production in the paint. And, and still trailing, but, but starting to show some grit down low. Donjic. Here's the floater. Last break. Here come the Jazz. Here's O'Neal. Doesn't go for him. Now Dallas takes it the other way. 
They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Here's Melly, another three for Dallas. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Niang kicks to Thomas. And the basket is good. Thomas got 12 points now in the quarter. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. The Mavericks have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. And they double up Doncic. Redick surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. From deep. The Mavericks rebound. And that's a good job of just getting after it on the backboard. Gets them another possession and allows them to run even more clock. Thomas passes to Azabuki. Here's Niang. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Donchich with it. Here's Redick. Trains it from 17 feet out. And even from mid-range, J.J. Redick is the kind of shooter where that's a highly efficient shot. Niang passes to Azabuki. Pass to Niang. Outside for Thomas. Pass to O'Neal. And that one hits back iron. Dallas has gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Here's Finney Smith, guarded by O'Neal. And Doncic throws it down. Uh, has the vertical needed to dunk it. Doncic showing off the power and flair that he possesses. Now as a bookie. And the pass to Niang. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Yeah, the defender all over him. That's his first personal foul. At the line for your Jazz, George Niang. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. From 18 feet away... Rebound by Azubuki. Jazz have gone 6 to 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Dallas shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. Outside, Redick back to Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Finney Smith, just five on the clock. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got four this quarter. And with good length and athleticism, Doncic not only gets to the rim, but boy, can he finish. Niang passes to Azabuki. And Thomas has it in the corner. Shoots over Doncic. The Jazz with another miss. Dallas has gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Outside, Redick passes it to Marjanovic. Over to the left wing. Redick finds Doncic. Hits it from three-point range. Doncic has got 31. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. Doncic against Thomas. Marjanovic passes to Reddit. Back to Marjanovic. 
It's tipped. And, and guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for Dallas. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Luka Doncic. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved really enjoyable to watch That's his first personal foul. shooting for Utah Matt Thomas taking two shots two shots relax on the first free throw good Thomas And he makes the first, but misses the second. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. Reddick passes to Doncic. Twenty seconds left to play here in the fourth, and that one is stuck right through job on the glass and doing it with force and Greg it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. you know this is one of his specialties keeping plays alive creating second chance opportunities and they do it they'll move on to round two it took them six games to do it Greg but they finally asserted themselves and move on to round two uh, and I I think it benefits a team to have a competitive series in, in round one. It gets those playoff juices kind of flowing, if you will. Prevents any kind of complacency from setting in. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Luca. He got the W, so what did you think about your performance? You know, we got a win against a team that is very competitive. You know, they go hard uh, no matter what. You know, they're a great team. And, you know, I'm just glad we got a win. We got to keep going like that. Hey, man, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinal. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.